All right, welcome back to Ballistic Machinist. And I've got a, another shotgun slug that I, uh, I'm working on developing. I've tried several times to do an expanding copper slug, and I've failed every single time. They've either broke apart, not expanded, one started to expand before it even got to the target. It's just been a nightmare. But this one is my new one. I don't have a name for it yet. I don't know if that's focusing on it so that you can see it here. I can throw some pictures up on the screen so we can see it better. But this is right about one ounce before you put the uh, Russian tail wad in the back of it. And then it comes out to be about 500 grains as a total package. So we're gonna try this one the first time. We're just gonna shoot this box down here behind me just for a flight test to make sure we get a nice round hole. And then I've got two more that we're going to try into some ballistics gel if they're flying straight. So let's let's see what it can do. All right, so we're going to just shoot this box just for a flight test, just see how this first one goes. I'm going to aim for the B in ballistics. So let's let's see what it does. All right, let's go look at the hole. All right, well, we didn't hit the B because that's what I was shooting for. Plus, the hole is kind of looking a little crooked. We're still going to try to shoot it in some ballistics gel, but I'm not going to shoot it into a brand new block. But let's see what it does anyways. All right, well, the first flight test didn't go so good. It looked like it was kind of yawing. So instead of putting up a brand new block of ballistics gel, I'm going to put this semi-new block of ballistics gel. We've shot it a couple times in the last video with the 45 long hole, but we're just going to see what it does. Just try to get some data out of it. Alright, let's go see if we stopped it. All right, sorry about the wind noise, but we hit it right here and it's still warm. And then we got the wound track all down through there. And we actually stopped the slug right here, right at the point where I think, I think I can pull it out. And there we go, it looks like Five of the petals opened, but two didn't, which leads me to believe that it probably hit, kind of tipped down like that or something. But I think that's promising enough that we'll hit this block with the hotter one and see what it does. All right, so it's it kind of expanded. It didn't do exactly what I wanted, but we'll try the third one that I've got here. I've got this one loaded up quite a bit hotter. The first ones were probably going somewhere around 13 to 1400 feet per second. This one's going between 17 and 1800 feet per second. So let's see what the uh, what the difference is. Well, it definitely kicked a whole lot more, so let's go see what it did in the gel block. Alright, so we're down here at the table, and it looks like we hit a little bit low on this shot. We hit right here, did all that, and then ripped out the bottom, and here's our slug. It looks like if I can get it to fly straight, I might 
have my expanding slug I've been trying to do. I'll have to do some work on it and try it again. Alright, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.